Jenna, over to you. Well, right now, a major escalation in tensions between the U.S. and Pakistan, America's key ally in the war against the Taliban and al-Qaeda blocking a key NATO supply line into Afghanistan following the three deaths of Pakistani uh, troops in a reported airstrike. Lots of information to this. Let's talk to Fox's Sib Kaifi on the phone from Islamabad. Sib? Oh, Jenna, this being the third airspace violation by U.S. and NATO forces aircraft in a week, according to the Pakistan Army, dropped their tolerance to zero after the three border security troops were killed and three injured in the northwest Upper Kurram Tribal Agency, 650 feet from the border. Now, the Pakistan Army spokesman said two helicopters appeared from across the Afghan border and engaged a Pakistani security outpost through a cannon fire after the Pakistani soldiers fired warning shots for them to head back. In an apparent retaliation, Pakistan blocked a major supply route at its Torkham border, which heads towards Kabul. Now, more than 150 NATO supply vehicles were stopped from crossing over, a reminder of the leverage Pakistan has over the U.S. if it chooses to halt the supplies permanently and the financial and strategic effects that may have on the Afghan war effort. Now, the Interior Minister, Rahman Malik, strongly said, we will have to see whether we are allies or enemies. Now, a statement which throws all U.S. efforts to win back Pakistan's trust out of the window. And CIA's director, Leon Panetta, met Pakistan's prime minister and was told that Pakistan was profoundly concerned about the missile strikes and helicopter incursions. Now, to be exact, up to 22 drone strikes targeting militants have taken place in a span of one month, and anti-American sentiments have reached an epic peak after the conviction of a U.S.-educated Pakistani doctor to 86 years imprisonment by a U.S. court. And Pakistan and the U.S. have a vital but complicated relationship, Jenna, strained by trust deficit. Many here regard the U.S. as the enemy and believe the U.S. wants to attack and take over it's a nuclear arsenal. However, it's a delicate balancing act for Pakistani government to support the American-led war in Afghanistan, receive billions of dollars in U.S. aid, and maintain an otherwise fast-growing, fast-shrinking vote bank for Pakistani public. Jenna? Siv, vital and complicated. That's the way to describe the relationship between the U.S. and Pakistan. Nicely done. Siv Kafi again on the phone with us from Islamabad. Thank you.